Twerk Masterclass. I'm recording. Steve. Thank you. Hello, Rasana. It's good to see you. Thank you for all for being here. Uh, more people will come online. If you want, please, in the chat, leave a message where you are from, where you're calling in from, Amsterdam for me, and what the weather is like. It's so cool that breathwork is really, really connecting. And what we, what you will see is that there will be many people from all over the world logging in. And that is just great, you know, like we can, we can breathe together from all over the world. Sardinia, Italy, Amsterdam. I see a lot of things coming in. North Carolina, nice. Hello, US is in the house. Great. So let's slowly start. Um, my name is Tim. Tim van der Vliet. I know that's difficult to pronounce. I am from Amsterdam. I live here with my wife. I have five kids. And my work is to travel around the world teaching breath work, cold exposure, things like that. So every year I'm going to the US, to Brazil, to Norway, Denmark, London, uh, sometimes Finland, sometimes Portugal. Uh, all over the world is really really nice so you could say that i'm helping people and i'm making a living out of it that is of course awesome right now um after my stock market career so i've been working in the stock market as a trader i have a picture a little bit later in the in the presentation also after my stock market career about 15 years ago i started doing pranayama yoga breathing and i loved it so much that i started doing it every day and then i met wim hof actually i have a picture of us together here if it's working there it is um about seven years ago i became a wim hof method instructor became good friends with wim learned a lot from wim and then about five six years ago i got so bored with doing the same thing all over again you know every time the same thing that uh I uh, started playing around with the breath and I founded my own techniques called TT, Tim's Techniques. Now, people call me an authority in breathwork or a breathwork expert, but I like to call myself a breathwork nerd simply because, you know, although I have my own techniques, I practice more than my own techniques, also other techniques. You know, there's so much in the breathwork world. It's really, really amazing. Anyway, I learned a lot from Wim. Uh, I was one of the top, I don't know, three, five instructors was teaching a lot all over the world. And I'm very grateful for Wim because he brought breath work into the science or science into the breath work and something in between. Now, um, I'm really happy with that because it got it out of the woo woo space and into um, the scientific space or like call it for normal people. So um, thank you, Wim. And I have a little surprise because Marcel Hof, the brother of Wim, who actually worked together with Wim for 25, 30 years, you know, when Wim was not famous yet, he will come on the call in a little bit more than an hour. So this call is going to take about 90 minutes and uh, Marcel will come on in the end. So I'd like to ask you a few questions. Who is doing breath work already? Show me in the chat, please. Who is doing breath work already? Not yet. You do? A lot of people do, right? Great, great, great. Melissa, Karen. Nice, nice. I see so much activity in the chat. Thank you so much. I love that. Um, who is doing breath work? Next question. Who is doing breath work every day? Not yet, every day, every day, yes. Great, four times a week, okay. Nice, nice, nice. Even if you do a little bit, you will, you will hopefully walk away very inspired by this session today that from now on you will do breath work every day. Uh, last question, who is a breath work instructor and if you are, uh, what technique? You wish every day you're gonna do that. First time, Maria, nice. Who is a breathwork instructor? And if so, in what uh, technique? 
My seven minutes. Oh, I saw that. Conscious connected breathing. Nice, Daniela. I love that. All right, so there's not many breathwork instructors yet, right? Okay, listen, um, just want to check if this session is for you. This is for people that are a breathwork instructor already or people that want to become a breathwork instructor. This session is perfect for if you're a coach or some form of instructor, GP, physiotherapist, psychologist, helping other people. Or if you're just in it for your own personal development. That is always my story. You know, I uh, did the whole Wim Hof program for my own, um, becoming an instructor for my own personal development. And then I was called to teach and I'm still doing that. So I want to quickly uh, talk about, you know, um, my family, because I've, I have five kids from 25 to four. And I love traveling with my kids. For me, true abundance is traveling with my kids. And I was one time with four of my kids alone in the Philippines. Yeah, so they were aged 4, 11, 13, no, uh, 4, 13, 15, and 17, something like that. And one of the last days I was scuba diving with two of my daughters early in the morning. We did a shark dive. You have to go really, really deep and then hold on to a chain because it's dark and, you know, there's a current there. And then you're just going to sit down and watch the sharks. It's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful scuba dive. However, I was not feeling well and I started to hyperventilate. In hindsight, first we went to this plateau of 18 meters and I was already like hee ha, hee ha. And I should have aborted the dive there because I wasn't feeling well. But my, you could say my daddy ego was too big because um, I didn't want to admit that I wasn't doing great. So I went on. And then then I, um, I got into a really, really nasty situation where I was uh, getting so dizzy that I was almost passing out. And I recognized that dizziness from my, from my breath work. Um, before you pass out, <laughs> you will be very dizzy. And I was getting tunnel vision that I, would, I was sure I was going to die. And then a certain, how do you call it, like a... Um, a primal force came into me, like, not now, not here. I'm not going to leave my kids behind. You know, the mother of my wife was here in Amsterdam. She doesn't like the beach. So I was alone with four kids. It's not the way you want to leave your kids behind, you know. And then I remembered from my uh, cold exposure training that was always very hard for me in the beginning. I remembered that um, there's this technique, one that I developed myself of putting people in the ice bath that I used to calm down my breathing and then I stopped being dizzy and then, you know, basically simply said I, I survived that scuba dive because of my breath work. And from that moment, I became a different instructor. You know, this stuff, this is my big revelation. Oh, this is, by the way, these are the sharks that we were watching. Yeah, so uh, you could say I found my treasure watching treasure sharks because these sharks are called treasure sharks. Anyway, my big revelation was that my breath work saved my life. And from that moment, I kind of thought, and this is true, you know, to a indirect and a direct way in my case, that breath work saves lives. So uh, from that moment, I became like a different instructor, you could say. Now, I believe strongly that breath work is the most effective way to get out of your head and into your body. And then if I can be a little bit cocky, my breath work, TT breath work, is the most efficient way because it takes so little time. Now, my promise is that you will be experiencing this. Uh, we're going to do some breathing together. We're going to do both the technique that saved my life, that I really want you to remember, even if we never speak again, because this can help save other people's lives as well. Um, and we're going to do another session of TT5. Now, um, this special, this session is special. This is my S. I hope you find it beautiful. Lying down is always an option. Uh, this session is special because I'm going to show you three mistakes that breathwork instructors make and that are 
um, easy to prevent, you could say. I'm going to show you the getting out of your head in five minutes of breathing and the calm down in one breath, which is the technique that saved my life during scuba diving. Now we have only a short time together. So uh, at the end, I'm going to uh, make you an offer for my control your breath eight week group coaching instructor program. Um, um, but even if you're, you know, if you're not going to join that, then I still want to ask you if you learn something that works for you, are you willing to practice it five minutes a day? That's not what I'm asking only if it resonates. If so, please, you know, if you're an action taker, please type action in the chat and please do so with capitals. You know, <laughs> when you WhatsApp me, please don't use capitals. But when you <laughs> hear in the chat, I love capitals. So let me know, please. Are you an action taker? Are you willing to take action on? I love that. Look at that coming in action, exclamation mark, faction, <laughs> action, action. Great, great. Amazing. You make me even happier than I was already. Okay, you want to stay until the, uh, until the end because I'm going to show you, I'm going to share with you a URL um, that um, contains videos of everything that we're practicing today. So you will be able to practice it afterwards. And, um, and of course, Marcel Hoff is coming online, which is a pretty interesting guy, you know, so... Um, he will also be doing some guest lectures in my program, but I will tell a little bit more about that later. So let's talk about breath work and doing breath work every day. Yeah, so this is a little bit more than just um, uh, claiming that breath work instructors make mistakes. And I don't mean the three mistakes of breath work instructors. I don't mean that in a way to bash other breath work instructors. Of course, I've made some of these mistakes myself and they're easy to prevent. So um, how do you integrate breath work into your life safely? Well, first of all, and this is important when in doubt, you take a step back. Doing a little today and tomorrow again is better than doing too much today and then give it up tomorrow. Sounds like kicking in an open door. I'm very good in kicking in open doors, by the way. Now, you want to trust your own feeling before any breathwork instructor. So also, this is to you. Trust your own feeling before you listen to me. And then you want to practice. I already said it a little bit. You want to practice a little and then do that little a lot. So um, you can use, you know, even five minutes as a morning routine or to prepare for an important meeting. Or when you're bored, you know, when you're meeting a friend who is always late and you're always on time and you're sitting there for 20 minutes, time to do breath work. Now, Olaf is a, a great example. He's a physiotherapist here in Amsterdam, the physio man for the people that are from Amsterdam. And Olaf uh, did my instructor program. And at a certain moment, he, he has a, a little bit of a challenge because he has HDHD, but he can you know, through breath work, he can really help himself. He doesn't use any medicine anymore. Anyway, uh, don't give him coffee because that is a little bit too much. And he was feeling a little bit hyperactive before his first client came. And what he did was the five minutes of breathing that we're gonna practice today. And he felt completely calm and relaxed. And he noticed he, ha he was helping his clients better. And then he thought, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna do five minutes of breathing with every client that I have. And he noticed that his clients were easier, you know, like a little bit more loose. So even five minutes of breathing and because he started for his first client and then did it with all his clients, he was doing half an hour to an hour of breath work paid, you know, without losing time, simply said. So Olaf is great. Um, this, this idea of doing a little and then a lot, I call this a dentist model and the dentist model is a very simple concept. You know, why do we have clean teeth? Well, first of all, because we go to the dentist and maybe you clean up your, your teeth when you are at the dentist. What is it like once, maybe twice a year, but also because we brush our teeth and doing a little like in the morning before breakfast, 
it like it's like you take it with you all the way it's like brushing your teeth for a minute every day and this is like why we really have clean teeth is because we put a little time but every day into cleaning our teeth make sense let me know do i make sense <laughs> i see carl i am an action taker i love it carl thank you <laughs> makes sense right okay so um let's move on another time i was um, in barcelona also with my kids i've been traveling a lot this is just you know like i don't i don't have any any real luxury apart from bringing my kids all over the world my wife is japanese been i've been there 15 times anyway this time we were in barcelona um and the kids were running around and i was sitting next to this guy uh, 80 year old guy from cuba carlos and carlos and I had a click. We talked with each other. And at a certain moment, he said like, you know, you guys don't know what you have here. And I was like, enlighten me? You know, what do you mean? Clearly, I don't know what you mean. <laughs> and he said, well, um, you all have freedom here. I am 80 years old. My whole life I've lived. He was just, he just had asylum in, in Spain. My whole life I've, being you know not free the government and the police and whatever and his whole family including his grandkids were still in cuba and was trying to get them in spain i never I've, I've never known if if he succeeded in that but he was extremely positive you know and that made me think it planted the seed for a way of thinking that is very important for me and it is you know very simply said perception is reality um now where what this seat became i call the power of paradox so let me shortly explain it because in my stories and in my teachings there's always this power of paradox and it's like the strongest way of thinking both rationally and intuitively let me explain a little bit a paradox is a statement that is true and untrue at the same time like the words i am lying if I would speak the truth, if I, if I would be a liar and I would say I'm lying, I would speak the truth. You see, like it's that that is like confusing. And that confusion is the exact power in the power of paradox. Because for our rational brain, you know, we need to put things in boxes, which is very handy because it makes you remember the names of your kids and where your bicycle is parked, for example. But it is either left or right or up or down it puts things in boxes highly um, um beneficial for everyday life as i said yet um, for the long term maybe we need also some anything else than our rational mind that would want to say and what happens when you hear a paradox a statement that is true and untrue at the same time is that the rational mind it cannot grasp that and the, in the analogy of a computer program, the rational mind is crashing. And what is left depends where you are. Some people call it hard thinking. Some people call it intuition. Some people call it more in the business world, you know, slapping your big belly, gut feeling. Anyway, it's everything else but your rational mind. And let me give you a, a very simple example of the most intelligent person on the planet in his time was Socrates. And Socrates, or Socrates, how do you pronounce it? I think Socrates, yeah. Socrates was seen as the most intelligent person on the planet because he knew he knew nothing. And the practical takeaway, you know, is whenever you don't agree with something that life is giving you, whatever you think, the opposite is also true. So please write that down. Whatever you think, the opposite is also true. Or another way of thinking, like instant freedom. What if everything that you believe would not be true? Or like half true creates freedom. So what does this have to do with, um, with um, breath work? Well, I believe that a good teacher, he learns while teaching. So it's the opposite of this the guru syndrome you know this is the mistake number one that i want to talk about 
the guru syndrome also known as the teacher illness meaning you are up there and your participants are down there you are there because people learn from you so you have to know everything and when you don't know everything you just make noise and hope to get away with it you know the guru syndrome is a problem in the world you can be so good in what you do but if you are going to be a guru um you know in the a guru is just a teacher of course but i mean like um, be arrogant think you're uh, untouchable for example you're gonna get into problems yeah so uh i see that a lot that teachers make noise instead of saying honestly i don't know and this is always for me you know when i'm teaching i want to learn this is this is also also always why i ask for feedback and questions and stuff like that by the way at the end after marcel i have time to answer all your questions hopefully <laughs> and if not i will say i don't know yeah so to stay away from the guru syndrome you wanna um you dare to say i don't know you know because a great instructor this is an example of the power of, paradox, power of paradox. I think knowing the science is very important, yet all the science together doesn't mean that you know everything. Yeah, so a great instructor knows about the science and is therefore, question mark, highly intuitive. Now, let me explain this because this is a clear example of the power of paradox. What happens if you understand what is happening in your body during breath work your mind summarizes that into, guys, uh, rest of the body. We love breath work. This is cool because scientifically it makes sense. What happens then during your breath work, you can let go of that same rational brain and start to be more intuitive. Do you understand? This is a clear example of the power of paradox. By using your rational brain, you get to let go of that same rational brain and start to feel more. Very simply said. Now, um, a good teacher dares to say, I don't know, because he is aware he may know little. And this makes you authentic and real, or this is my perception of it. And the paradox is, if you want to learn, if you have the intention to learn while you teach, you become a better teacher. And also not so much of a Mr. Know-it-all, if you know what I mean. Now, um, Let's move on to mistake number two. Teaching that one technique that you've learned, and that is the answer to everything. I understand. I did that too. Um, you know, I did the Wim Hof method. So Wim Hof method breathing was the solution to everything. Well, in my classes, I noticed that for some people it was a little bit too much. Um, so there's no one technique that fits all. There, it just isn't. And if you're only teaching, if your answer to every problem is do this breathing because that's the one that I've learned, you're kind of missing the point, you know? I would rather have, um, my instructors are true breathwork nerds. It's also because I call myself a breathwork nerd, you know, although people see me as an authority, I call myself a breathwork nerd. And through this program, I'm like, collecting other breathwork nerds around me. So there's more than just one technique. In my program, you also get to learn more than one technique. And you don't per se have to have a license in every technique, I find, but you do need to have practiced it. So you can speak from your own experience. So for example, you would ask me, uh, have you done pranayama? Yeah, yeah, very much. Um, uh, can you teach it? Well, I can explain how I think it works. and. And I'm not an instructor in pranayama yet. I've practiced it a lot. And these are my favorites because of this and this. And I feel like this and this, you know? So you stay genuine, although you are not per se an instructor in everything. So the solution to this is, of course, very simple. Learn more techniques and try to give what your client needs instead of that thing that you know. I hope that makes sense. Then mistake number three, too much adrenaline. This is the picture of me in the stock market. You see it, upper right. It's like, uh, 
about half of my life ago too much adrenaline i was working in the trading pit and i was like continuously under high high stress i know what it is to have stress i also have five kids so you can imagine maybe but what i see is sometimes and one time i can remember somebody panicked during a deep breathing technique and the instructor was leaning over her and screaming in her ear breathe deeper breathe faster that is just too much adrenaline yeah from the start pushing a breathwork session it's just not working and i do that differently i start really really slow and then my sessions go way deeper because i build it up <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry i got a stress moment <laughs> i thought i forgot the record which i had like uh, a while ago um sorry here i am again <laughs> take a slow breath uh, i believe my sessions go way deeper because i start out slow and then i do way more eventually than say 20 minutes of breathing and this is another paradox in a way that if you build it up slower you can go deeper instead of starting to bang bang pump it immediately also um since i've been a wim hof method instructor and just to be clear i am not a wim hof instructor anymore because i feel there's more than just that but at a certain moment i am um, put in the facebook group of wim i put a message like hey i know wim is busy i know everything about the science uh, or if you have questions let me know and for two weeks i was typing uh, answers answering questions and i noticed at a certain moment that half of my questions was uh, half of my answers were maybe you should take a step back and one example was that one guy he said like hey tim yeah i have pain in my knees after my ice bath uh do you know what it is and my question back was how long do you stay in he said oh 20 minutes or longer i'm like what <laughs> two minutes is enough don't push it so much maybe you should take a step back so um does that make sense please let me know by typing sense in capitals sense yes sense 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 nice all right great 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 very nice thank you so what is the how do you get deeper without pushing it too much without too much adrenaline well the idea is consistency over intensity you know cold exposure for example ending your shower cold 30 minutes always for the rest of your life is more beneficial than doing a 20 minute ice bath now and then not liking it so much and never do it again in your life so you build up without pressure like this does that make sense so um who is um likely if some of you are doing cold exposure and some of you don't so i would want to go into this breathing technique that saved my life uh, in that scuba dive that i just told you about but first i want to talk about ruben and then about two other people that are using it so ruben is a, a, a client and a friend of mine in in phoenix and he did like a full day session with me we had two days and the next day he came to me and he said like um, it, it was very hard in the ice bath so we really had to practice this breathing technique to calm down to get over a panic attack uh, it's called 428 we will practice it in about a minute and um, he said like you know I have a confession to make I suffer from road rage road rage means that you explode in the car you know your personality changes in the car and that morning he was cut off by another car and his whole family was in the, in, in in the car and everybody was like oh my god here we go again and he practices four to eight breathing taking a deep breath in hold for two and breathe out longer and he didn't explode so this is how instantly you can use breath work and it shows also the power of breath work if in one breath you can give up your road rage how cool is that and and thinking of that 
um, this is a st statistic I heard from one of my instructors in the UK. 80% of the ambulance or the first aid rides to the hospital are panic related. This technique helps you get over a panic attack. So that means that 80% of the rides to the hospital can be prevented if the nurses would know how to guide somebody in breathing. Amazing, right? So that is the power of breath work. Now I have another um, situation, another, another way how um, this four to eight breathing is used by Bart and Pia. Bart is actually my brother. And um, Bart knows a lot of my, uh, of my uh, breathing, of course. We're both uh, in, the, in the same business, although for him it's more coaching, for me it's more breath work. And they were rented as ex ex executive coaches for a whole weekend because th there was this team in Scandinavia where two people in the sea level, so CIO, CFO, something like that, they couldn't stand each other, they hated each other. And the teams below them already for five years didn't work together because the top hated each other. And that whole weekend was specially designed for those people, so the whole management team together, for those people to get over their issues. And at a certain moment, somewhere in the middle of that weekend, there was something going on and one of the two stood up and he was like angry and my brother said like hey where do you uh, where do you feel it now and he was like here on my chest hyperventilating and he said to 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 this man take a breath in hold breathe out slower and he did that a few times so not one breath but maybe three or four and suddenly he calmed down he said where do you feel it now in my belly you know his voice completely changed and these two people that hated each other went on a walk talked to each other and the problems they had for the last five or ten years were solved in that weekend but actually in that minute using breath work you feel me that um breath work is really really cool so um Let's do this technique. Uh, I'm sure you already tried that. Phenomenal in emergencies. Hallelujah. Absolutely. Jane. So let's, let's do this. You know, like an in-between calm down session. We're going to take three of these breaths. So breathe in for four counts. Hold. One two and breathe out slower than your breath in eight counts again in for four hold and breathe out Last time, in for four. And out slower. And notice how you feel. Instantly calming down through a bit of breathing. Uh, by the way, Steve. Um, mm, maybe people shouldn't be in the panel list and only Marcel Hoff and um, Martin Liesborg when they're online because I cannot see them okay so there was a note to my uh, to my colleague okay so this four to eight breathing you can practice this anywhere behind it, uh, the steering wheel where you know when somebody cuts you off for example or um, stressful moment at, at the job or at home kids you know before you explode, take a breath in, hold, and breathe out slower. And then likely you will not explode. So please that th take this away. So what is the solution to uh, too much adrenaline? When in doubt, I said it before, take a step back. That goes for being a breathwork guide 
in your own breath work, but also in your private life would, would, would want to say. Because remember, you know nothing. Now, I said three mistakes, but um, I found a, a fourth mistake that is very important, which is no aftercare. Now, deeper, longer breathing sessions, like the connected breathing that, um, was it Daniela who, who was doing that, can be very trauma releasing right so um after a breathwork session say you do a, a breathwork session on monday and on tuesday something funny is happening so i heard somewhere that a good breathwork session is like a year of therapy so <laughs> i started googling and i found this quote look look at this it's amazing <coughs> one breathwork session is equivalent to two years of physiotherapy um psychotherapy excuse me and the quote was by Henry Rohrberg, PhD. So I'm, I'm a researcher, you know, so I love that quote, of course. And then I started researching this guy, Henry Rohrberg, PhD. I cannot find his papers. I cannot find anything about his name. He doesn't have a website. He doesn't work anywhere. He's like a PhD in psych psychology, but he hasn't, doesn't have his name on any paper. So, you know, this is why you want to do fact checks yourself. Uh, I could now say like, oh yeah, and this, this is true. No. Do I feel it's true? Yes. Is it scientifically proven? I don't know, but I'm not aware of it. But this guy doesn't exist. So you always want to fact check. So for one of the people in my instructor program became a good friend and we actually have a business together called Breathing for Success. Um, very shortly, what is that? It is high exclusive breathwork coaching one-on-one -on -one with not only me, but with a team of breathwork instructors. So you can every week choose your own breathwork instructor. It's not the scope of this session, but if you're, if you feel like, um, yeah, I need some real private attention, you can always send me a WhatsApp and I'm very easy with that. I share my number anywhere because people never abuse that. Here's my telephone number. You can also use it for questions after this webinar. Um, Brian, I'm really sad, you know, it has transformed my life. And it is a deep therapeutic uh, transformation that he went through. So, so, some people need aftercare. Saying something like drink a lot of water is already a form of aftercare. I'm sure if you're a breathwork instructor, you're already doing that. But also leaving your phone number. You know, I had one time in Norway where um, one of the people breathing had a huge release, extreme crying. And later I, um, I asked for his phone number and I said, like, I want you to, to send me a text tonight if you're okay. You know, it kind of makes sense. Five years ago, his wife committed suicide and five days ago, his best friend died, you know? So of course, then, you know, you need to release something. But I wanted to make sure since he didn't send any text that evening, I called him the next day. I want to know, are you okay? And I want to know for real. Don't give me beautiful talk. I'm fine, I'm fine. While well, you're actually not. I want to know details. And he was like, man, I feel better than ever. And it has been amazing. So, you know, it was, he didn't need my aftercare. But the fact that I gave the aftercare, I think, I feel is a very, very good thing. Now, um, I think it's time to practice a little bit of breath work. What do you say? Sounds good. So let me, let me shortly, um, first safety measures, you know, we're going to do some deep breathing and with deep breathing techniques, you, there's always, there's a very small chance, but there's always a chance that you lose it for a moment. So you cannot join if you're driving a car, seriously dangerous. You cannot do it if um, you are in a bathtub or in a swimming pool, seriously dangerous, and just make sure that you're safe. You know, uh, lying down is, is always an option. <laughs> I don't know, for some reason that's funny. So let me shortly explain what we're going to do. We're going to slow down our breathing for one minute, and you're going to count how many times you're breathing. Then we're going to do five rounds of TT5. That takes only five minutes. And then we're going to do one minute of slow breathing again. 
so you can measure for yourself your rational brain can get in line because likely you feel great afterwards or calmer or more energy or whatever i'm, I'm going to ask you later but you can also measure you went for example from six breaths to three breaths now why is this important look like i was scuba diving i started hyperventilating and so our breath is a reaction to the situation we're in if you jump in an ice bath the first time likely you're hyperventilating that's normal so the breath is a response to the event that is happening to us but it also works the other way around and this is so cool because humans are the only animals who can do this we can proactively change our breathing yeah so in other words if you feel stress or even panic and you practice slow breathing maybe you need to do a a few four to eight uh, uh, rounds first and then slow down your breathing the more you can slow down your breathing the calmer you are there's a direct relationship if you're slowing down your breathing your heartbeat goes down adrenaline levels drop yeah so although the breath is a reaction to our state we can also change our state by for example you know by breath work in general but by for example slowing down are breathing sounds good so make sure you're safe and then um, start slowing down your breathing please slow down your breathing to the max just slowing down your breathing and the way you do that maybe you're asking yourself should I breathe nose in nose out mouth in mouth out you know for this little one minute exercise it does, doesn't matter but notice that when you slow down your breathing that things change maybe you can feel your heartbeat maybe you can feel your skin better it's these are signs that you're calming down now I'm gonna ask you to count how many times you're breathing and I will count three to one start timing one minute in and out is one breath so slow it down even more and here we go one two three timing slow down your breath to the max without breath holds and without becoming out of breath because then you're trying too hard breathe slower and slower and don't forget to count and this is one minute remember how many times you were breathing now we're going to do five rounds of tt5 basically nose in mouth out use your belly and your chest just breathe deep but please don't not only your chest also your belly five times deep in and out then breathing in holding after breathing in 10 seconds and then breathe out slowly now I will guide you so if you weren't listening that's okay uh, one round takes one minute five rounds take five minutes so simple we don't need a lot of time to change here we go five deep breath nose in mouth out number five a bit deeper and everything out empty your lungs now breathe in and hold hold it at the top 
10 counts, I'm counting. Just hold your breath and relax. Another five. And breathe out. Round two, five deep breath. Breathe beautiful, like you're using your lungs properly. <sighs> Extra deep. Empty your lungs. And breathe in and roll. Hold it. And breathe out. Round three, five deep breaths. Extra deep. Empty your lungs. In and hold. Hold it here. And breathe out. Two more rounds. If it's a little bit much, you can always skip around or breathe a little bit less deep. As long as you breathe deeper and faster than normal, you're doing this right. Round four, five deep breath. Extra deep. Empty your lungs. And breathe in and hold. Hold it here. And breathe out. Last round, five deep breaths, a little bit slower and more conscious. Extra deep. Everything out. Breathe in and hold. No, a bit dizzy is normal, tingly sensations is also normal. Again, slow down your breathing to the max. Notice how you feel too, and slow down your breathing even more. I'm going to count to three, and again, time, one minute. Please count how many times you're breathing. Here we go. One, two, three, timing.
this is what I'm in. Take your time. And whenever you're ready, I would love to know how you feel. Is it true? Can you get out of your head in five minutes time? I would love to know how you feel and also from how many breaths to how many breaths you went. It's my personal research. Let me know in the chat, please. From seven to five, from 10 to five, nice. 10 to four, softer and lighter. Six to three, four to one, woohoo! 400% growth in five minutes time. That is amazing. Eight to three, okay, I'm seeing so many uh, chats coming in that I can at all uh, see it, but like most people, most people, um, if you're, so some people have the same, most people have like half or even less, tingly fingers, a bit dizzy is normal. If you feel too dizzy and you feel it's uncomfortable, just hold your breath after breathing out. It's a little trick. I'm full of little tricks, breath work tricks. Great, this is amazing. Thank you. All right, so let's move on. Uh, Steve, not yet. I'm not, don't want to have Martin live already, but I would like to know if he's already there. Can you spot that please? Um, so I wonder if the content that I gave you has resonated a little bit. So uh, I'd like to share that if you're interested, if this has resonated, uh, where you can take some next step. So first the review, you know, we had four mistakes, the guru syndrome, teach one technique, only too much adrenaline and no aftercare, which one resonated the most. You can have more than one, of course, but I would love to know in the chat, please let me know. Content is spot on. Tamara, thank you. Thanks, Steve. Number three, too much adrenaline, the guru syndrome. Nice. All four. <laughs> too much adrenaline. Great. This is for, for my own personal research. I'm always measuring. Number one, nice. Number three, great. Okay, this is so cool. Thank you. Two, two. So everybody's a little bit. No, no one person is the same. So not one breathing technique works for all. It's the same idea. Now, um, let's talk about reality. You know, like the way I I look at this is is I have my private agenda and my universal agenda, and I think this works for most people. My universal agenda is helping people. Very woo woo and cleaning up the earth. Less woo-woo, but also cool. My private agenda is to be more carefree and lighthearted and have like a little bit more time to read books. You know, that's my private agenda. I don't have any pain in my body, you know? And, and uh, so if I would have lower back pain, it would be on my private agenda to fix my lower back brain pain. So my point is that it's very funny, but through breath work, through fixing your crap or fixing your private agenda you get to clean up and get to a higher consciousness where you automatically will serve your universal agenda which can be something different than it is for me you know so um for me you know like i've some some of my colleagues are saying like i don't want to work with the pharmaceutics or i don't want to work with royal dutch shell because they deplete the planet and i i understand that but I would love to work with Shell Royal Dutch and 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 uh, teach their management team, you know, and then hopefully see a few years from now, Shell gave up oil and is going into windmills only. It's a Dutch company after all. So what I just want to say is imagine the impact that you can make by teaching in the in the uh, in the corporate world, you know, but but let's go back to reality you know what is your reality and i honestly don't know what your reality is so i just put down some things uh, but it can be anything you know dropping weight or well i put down a few things um upgrade your practice a lot of people want to have a daily practice and have a difficulty building that up 80 percent of the people in my program do that also years later so it gets into your system and never out again uh, maybe not enough energy, work problems, money problems, overweight, pain, whatever it is, you know. 
uh, I'm not saying you have this, but it could be a mix of whatever. Your private agenda is your private agenda, basically. But if you fix your private agenda, you know, it can be also managing your stress or have more time, be more productive, you know, more money, more freedom, whatever it is. By fixing your private agenda, you get to automatically go more to that universal agenda. And I believe, you know, it's maybe a little bit woo woo, but my purpose is to raise consciousness, my own and of other people's and of the planet. So eventually we will have a clean planet. And I truly believe that uh, raising your consciousness can be done by breath work and exercise and cold exposure, but breath work is like the main thing. So, um, how do you get further? Well, um, let me show you the next step, you know, the, so I'm, I'm already 15 years doing daily breath work and I'm teaching it professionally for eight years. So you could say that, uh, uh, I don't know the English expression for this, but I did the work and you can get results faster than me, you know, because you don't have to make all the mistakes that I've ma made. So I'd like to share with you how you can implement uh, breath work and also maybe if that's your thing teaching breath work into your own life so i want to talk about my eight week instructor program so i have a very simple way of thinking that if you can control your breath you know this is why it's called control your breath maybe you don't control the situation that is happening in front of you but you can control your reaction to that and with controlling your breath you can control your body and you can control your mind so you will have more control over your life do you understand what i mean does it make sense type sense please capitals if you can cool is also good yes it's also good sense is even better great is also good <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you. Amazing. Um, so I believe that um, uh, breath work is the most effective, effective way. I said it before, but TT is the most efficient way. And you kind of experience it already to get out of your head in five minutes time. Like another, another uh, uh, client of mine, his name is Carlo, not Carlos, but Carlo. And he is um, a sales guy and he was like average. And he does this exact five minutes of breathing because 10 minutes early, he goes uh, to his client, sits in the car, does five minutes of breathing, and he became the top salesman. And so um, it's a very efficient way. And of course, there's a lot more than TT5. I mean, TT50 would be taking 50 deep breath. So um, this instructor program is, you can say, a way to access all of this. And this is for yourself, of course, but also for others. Now, first of all, like I have three points why I created this program. Number one, results can be a lot faster than you think. We don't need to have an, uh, 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 an hour of breath work in the morning to already have a result. Like even one minute or five minutes is already enough, you know, already works. Number two, of course, I see too many breath work instructors that are not widely educated and they're teaching that one technique and that's it. Um, so my program is not only about my own techniques. And I also have guest instructors like Marcel Hoff. He will be a guest instructor, instructor also in my program. Uh, and allows this to have an impact on the world, you know, um, creating a ripple effect. I don't know what to call it. Now, I find it important to be able to teach in the corporate world, you know, because uh, in the corporate world, maybe your, your, your client will want more money. And that is exactly what you give, but on the side, you give something more, which is a higher consciousness, right? So I want to show you what very shortly, I will repeat this later, but the, the, what, what do you actually get when you get into, into the program? Well, there's an online environment with more than 150 videos that are mostly short. Only the breathwork sessions are longer, but like the science is like from two to five to max eight minute videos. So there's a lot of videos, but very short. Um, you will have lifetime access to that. You will get eight weeks of live group coaching with me, not one of my instructors, but with me myself. And we will start Thursday, 11 April at 7 p.m my time 6 p.m uk 1 p.m new york 10 a.m la 
uh, you get unlimited text help from uh, myself and my team, um, an option to assist me in live sessions. So you get in-person training as well. And then a community of like-minded breathwork instructors all over the world. Um, so we have this WhatsApp group and there are more than 100 instructors, but in this group it's like 80 instructors and everybody's helping each other out. So you get like, uh, uh, you, you get to do a session for a corporate, for example, or anywhere else and you design it you put it in the whatsapp group and everybody shoots on it it's really amazing you know uh you get direct contact with me and um where i'm focusing on is guiding as soon as you can so i will go in the next sheet into like what is in the the eight weeks um i've i've just i have is martin already uh here uh steve because uh, maybe this is a good time to ask him to say something uh, Martin just did my uh, program and you know in my program from week one I'm asking you to guide and it can be your son your mother your neighbor it doesn't have to be big but you will be able to guide and you will be confident about guiding uh, there's also some more bonuses and I have uh, as well a breathing app as well as all the videos are also accessible on your phone now let me let me take a little bit of time to go through the process the eight weeks so from week one you're gonna have a morning routine and likely your 80 percent of the people is doing that three years later still so if you want to build up a morning routine that's the focus of week one then in week two we're going to talk about proper breathing now, i'm sure you know that chest breathing is less efficient than belly breathing and nose breathing is better but more details into that and also how can you learn to breathe to the belly better and how can you teach this to somebody else and how can you uh, learn to unblock your nose you know get over snoring is for example one of the benefits now in three, week three, we're doing calming down. So four to eight is one of the techniques there. And I already shared something about Ruben that doesn't suffer from road rage anymore, or it doesn't come out because of this technique. Then in week four, we're gonna talk about uh, TT, deep breathing uh, breath hold techniques. Um, on the sheet, it also says WHM. I'm not teaching the WHM because, you know, like I learned so much from, from Wim, it's in between the lines, you know, but if you want to learn WHM, then you go to YouTube. So if you have a question about it, of course I will answer it because I've been for six, seven, eight years a, uh, a uh, uh, instructor, but it shouldn't actually be there. Anyway, um, TT5 is a deep breathing breath hold technique. Then in week five, we go to DMT release. And DMT is a, you could say a happy hormone. There's a little bit more to it, but I don't want to get into that now. Um, and healing. And healing is also in week six. And that DMT release has something to do with our self-healing, power of self-healing. And uh, sports and breathwork and sports has also something to do with healing. For example, you can do a longer breathwork session to prepare for a marathon but also for a trauma release session just as an example and um, one of um, the people that i've trained his name is ben ben fidal and he's extremely rational you know i like to stay rational and in between the lines we talk about feeling but in principle everything that i say is scientifically backed up and ben really said to me he, he came on a retreat uh, in Mendocino, north of um, the US on the West Coast. And he said, listen, Tim, don't give me any of that woo-woo stuff because then I'm gone. I'm like, yeah, cool, fair, you know? And he had like such an amazing experience that he gave me this quote, you know, it very simply said, it's safe to say he completely threw my paradigm for a loop and I've changed for the better emotionally and physically. He started to feel through the breath work, through the DMT, breath work sports performance and healing this is really you can as a top sporter if you don't do breath work yet you can become 10 percent better and that is just amazing you know so that is really um uh ah, okay nice that is really um really cool and in a bit i'm going to give the word to martin um 
Let me go to week seven first. You learn how to design a session and also how to get over whatever you want to call it, insecurities, imposter syndrome, stuff like that. It's very normal. We're all insecure now and then. Nobody dares to talk about it. So we're going to really talk about that. And you know how to design a session so you know you make sense and you give a great feeling. And in week eight, we're going to talk about teaching in the corporate world, which is important. Very, very important. Um, Steve, um, oh, Martin, there you are. Um, can we, oh, there you are. Uh, can you unmute Martin? Martin Liesberg, he just did my program and uh, he's a good student. Wait, let me, I asked to unmute. Maybe now you can unmute. Yes, there you are. Hello, Tim. Brother, how are you? I'm fine. Yeah. Doing my um, breath work. So can I ask you, can you, uh, do, do you have something to say? You want, you want to just start talking or shall I ask you a few questions? Hit me, come with some questions. <laughs> <laughs> so why did you decide to join? That's my first question. Um, <clears throat> I joined it because I've done some Wim Hof before, but Wim Hof is um, very extremely debriefing always. And mm. uh, when I saw your program, uh, it's much more uh, available for who, who can do the deeper breathing. So you have breathing for all people, all kinds of people. So that's very interesting. And you can build it up so you don't uh, lose the interest. So you don't failure. And I love it, less is more. Mm. Yeah, amazing. I love what you say. Uh, and um... Uh, you haven't been in this whole webinar just now, right? So you're you're not repeating no. what I said. Yeah, yeah, yeah just. Oh, uh, I'm just um, sitting here in the evening. Um, so another question: Are you guiding already? Do you have clients already? Yes, I have clients. Uh, I now have ten clients, and they are on different levels, because many people, when we ask, do you use your belly or where do you breathe? And, and they really don't know. And uh, then they do a little cell test, a little cell test and then they found out that, uh, that they can breathe, you know, breathe differently. So that's nice. And all the benefits, really amazing. It's amazing. So you have 10 clients and these are, uh, is this paid already or only free? Uh, three of them are paid. So, wow, that's that's really cool. That's amazing. Yeah, of course I knew this, but mm -hmm. um, <laughs> full disclosure. And um, can you tell but a little I bit? But I want to go I into talk... the corp. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah, um, but here in in May I have a sports team, and so I'm gonna now use uh, your birth word uh, for sports performance, and uh, it's footballers in a Danish football club. So very excited uh, uh, because I talked to the head coach and uh -huh. he says that uh, woo woo breathing and we do a uh, self test. And uh, one of his uh, football players actually uh, could do more push ups after uh -huh. breathing. So he was convinced. Nice. See, mm -hmm. and this is really what you're doing, and this is what I'm doing too whether it's a corporate session or any other session to do some form of little self test, you know, slow breathing. We did, you did the push up, some form of breathing and then test it again. So you don't have to explain, Oh, really, this is good for you. No, it's just, you know, people can show it themselves. And by the way, is there anybody who has a question for Martin? Then this is the moment to leave it in the chat, please. Um, Martin, this other thing I want to ask you, it's about sports performance because you're, 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 you're a sporter, right? And yes. what this did, did uh, this is in week six, what we talked about just now, but um, can you tell a little bit how this worked for you in such a short time? Um, also my um, sport performance is 10% uh, better. And I now uh, can uh, run only with my nose when I train. So when I do uh, a race, I will release my CO2 with my mouth 
because I don't want CO2 there. So, but in the daily training, I can run with my nose breathing. And uh, you have to, what can I say? When you come to week six, it's very exciting because uh, you learn very different techniques, how you can use it and how you can train uh, as your CO2 resistance and it, it works. Very nice. So we have a question. It's, um, did you take the course, Martin? <laughs> well, yes, I did. <laughs> of course. <laughs> you just finished uh, two weeks ago. And you started yeah. guiding in week one also? Or week yes. two? When? Yeah. So week one. Uh, just do it because um, when you practice, you get experience and uh, it's good to failure. I failed, but mm. it becomes easier and easier. So go for it. Teach your mother, yeah. teach your sister. Yeah. yeah. Uh, here, Yunue is asking, how long did you practice breath work before you started teaching it? Um, yeah, I, I started right away. Yeah. Right. So, yeah, so not not everybody is is um, wants to be a instructor. You know, there's um, people that want to be a breath work instructor like Martin, but that's that's like one third of the people. One third of the people do it for their own personal development, and one third of the people implemented in their current practice like uh, a doctor from denmark you're also from denmark right yeah yes um a doctor from denmark she did my whole program and she's mostly 80 percent but with every client she gets yeah she's a, a a gp a general doctor basically she does four to eight breathing upon coming yeah. in first sit down one minute of breathing that's what she uses mostly and she's super she's helping her pe people so much better so that's amazing uh what is the length of the class you teach bonita is saying what uh, there's different levels this is uh, one in one sessions so for one hour to one hour and a half mm -hmm. but you also yeah. you, you show people in one or two minutes or five minutes if this is working or not yeah, right? like I'll the make football it, coach uh, yes I'll make a program so it fits the clients. Nice. Okay. Well, thank you for taking time on a Sunday evening to, to come up, uh, Martin. It's really, really very much appreciated. I'm not paying him. Uh, nope. Just full disclosure. Is there anything you want to say? Like uh, last, uh, last words? Famous last words? I uh, just want to recommend this class, uh, instructor course. It, it's really good. And if you don't want to teach, it has so many benefits for you own. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Martin. So, Thank bye you, bye. Sir. Bye. So, um, Martin is Martin is great. Um, so I, I just said this, you know, who joins and why is basically three groups. Like for me, it's all, I started doing the Wim Hof uh, program because I was afraid of, of the cold, right? So this is why I, uh, I, uh, I started doing it. I want for my own personal development, you know, so whatever you, you want to learn about breathing, cold exposure, uh, age reversing exercises, or building up a morning routine for your own personal development, you will learn because if you learn how to teach, you learn more about yourself as well. Yeah, so basically you learn more details. Um, then to use inside your current job as a, a, a personal trainer, as a physiotherapist, as a psychotherapist, as a GP, as a doctor, as a surf teacher. One of my Brazilian instructors is a surf teacher. Um, and one third of the people we become a full-time breathwork instructor. Carl or Kari. Kari, sorry. Um, I'm answering questions after, okay? So like in about 15 minutes time. So um, how does this work exactly? Well, 11th of April at 7 p.m. We're gonna do a first group coaching session. And if you miss it, you know, because that's normal, life passes by. So if you miss one or two, you can always watch the playback. But if you subscribe and life really comes by, then you can join the next session i'm doing this yeah so i i, I just want to deliver the message and i do anything to get you know like people to do their morning routine to grow and to teach breath work in the proper 
way. So, uh, and questions afterwards, okay? I hope that's okay. And just to be clear, so when you subscribe, you get immediately the online environment with all the videos. I can show you in a little bit how that looks like. Um, that can also be used via an app on your phone. So you could say that travel time, if you have any, becomes learning time. But remember, no deep breathing behind the steering wheel. Um, and we start this Thursday, as I said already. Now, a few USBs. Uh, why people have shared with me my program is special and why I feel this is special. It's not only about breath work, it's also about cold exposure. You will learn the signs of cold exposure. And you will do spine straightening exercises, like for example, the five Tibetan rites. Uh, they're also called the fountain of youth. And you know, I, I'm, I'm 54, I become 55 this year, my passport age. My body is really less than 30 and trained. And not because I, I, I sport so much, but because I do the five Tibetan rides. You know, like you will do them, hopefully, 80% of you will do them the rest of your life. USB 3, 2. Not only about me, as I said, there's also uh, specials from other instructors. So, for example, the oxygen advantage. You know, Martin was talking about nose breathing. This is more buteco or oxygen advantage. So, it's not all about TT and TT only, it's also other techniques and also other instructors. So also Marcel Hoff will guide like one or two uh, sessions. Is Marcel online already, Steve? I don't think so. I'm gonna call him soon. <laughs> it's always the same with Marcel. Um, I'm just gonna say, come here. Great. And then USB 3, I find it important. I find it interesting. Without, you can get away as a breathwork instructor because 90% of the breathwork instructors don't know about the science. But the science and the physiology of breathwork and cold exposure is just amazing. For yourself to understand simply what I said before, because then you will think less, feel more, have higher quality thoughts, getting out of your head, basically. But also to explain to others in you know, the videos are very short, as I said, and if you can sp explain in one minute time, you know, I'm so, sometimes, I'm a friend of mine is a professor, he's a surgeon, um, and so he's, he's fully specialized, but when we're talking, he's like, oh yeah, I forgot about that, wow, yeah, it really goes like that, you know, so you get to hopefully talk to doctors as well, it's really, really very interesting. Anyway, that's USB 3 and USB 4 corporate training. Yeah, so how to teach in a corporate world. Now, why is this important? Very simply said, it works both on a universal agenda, helping people. Where do you make more impact? Is it in the corporate world? If you teach like the C-level team of Shell, you have them go through a breathwork program. Do you make more impact than when you teach in the local uh, gym? I think you do. Uh, and the private agenda is, in the corporate world, you make more money. So with one or two clients, you can already fill the fridge and pay the mortgage, you know, if they're recurring clients, of course. So corporate teachings, this is the way I think, if my universal agenda and my private agenda are in line, I found a path or a way or a truth, whatever you want to call it. So let's go into a few bonuses because Maybe one, some of you are thinking, how can I use this program really to my benefit? How do I know that it works for my specific situation? Well, we design your instructor master plan, master plan together. Uh, maybe you're thinking like, I don't want to watch videos all the time. Well, there's also uh, a audio course that you will get as one of the bonuses. So you can do, apart from this, I also have a, a app called the breathing room and also all the videos are uh, available within the Kajabi app, which is my website host. Yes, yeah, so um, then bonus number three. Ah, yeah. By the end, you want, for example, Martin wants to give like a session about sports performance and breath work and how that works. He doesn't know what to do. Well, first of all, you have, and this is bonus number four, the community. 
uh, you have the community where you can uh, let your design, your breathwork design be checked, but you can also um, uh, watch one of the example sessions. So I have like 45 one hour example sessions. You just put it on, you know, you're already knowledgeable and you write down what you would do in your session. Basically you copy and you paste better, like the Japanese are always doing. Copy, paste better, and then send it back to me so I can learn from you again. Um, of course, community, it's maybe this is one of the most important things, but as breath workers, breath work nerds, breath work instructors, we often are a little bit alone and I bring people together. So this community is just amazing. It's all over the world and you can meet each other or become friends or just talk about health, breathing, cold exposure, whatever passes by. Um, it's really nice. I feel a lot of love towards the community. Now, maybe you're thinking, is it online only? No, it's also in person. When I'm in London and you live in the UK, come to London and assist me live in my sessions. It's for free. You paid for that already. Um, of course, you get a certification and then there's, because the science is sometimes, um, it's very, I make it very simple, but to review it, I do another extra science masterclass that if you don't understand it yet so well, you can ask your questions. If you do understand it, you can practice how to teach to others. You can explain to others. And I have a nutrition masterclass that is full of paradoxes. So to gain access to the entire program, you only have to invest either, um, six times 255 euros, about 1500, or extra 10% discount and pay 1377. And then you can get started with the whole thing. Um, now I have for people that decide fast, and I can show you this if you want. If you act within 24 hours, you get access to the Breathing for Success portal. That is the business that I built with this Brian, this guy somewhere in the middle of this presentation. And this is not only me, but also other breathwork instructors. You get a year's access that we sell for 200 per month. So that's worth 2,400 euros. Um, it's really, really cool stuff. Let me, uh, let me just finish this and then see if Marcel is here. This is the website, so I will share this in the link uh, in the chat, I mean. So there's no Marcel Hof yet. <laughs> Guys, always. I love it. Here we go. This is where you can go to, and then let me give Marcel a ring. Now, Thursday at 5 p.m., I will close the subscription. Yeah, so you have four days, but if you decide within 24 hours, you get this access to the Breathing for Success portal. Now, just uh, to make sure that you know this, Marcel, ben je daar? Yeah. Hey, you zou online komen, toch? Yeah, yeah, yes. Let it. Let it a lot. Nee, 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 nee. Als je nu komt, dan is het precies op tijd. Oké, okay, two minutes. Yes, dankjewel man. Spreek je later. Alright. Bye bye. Marcel is in New Zealand. Here it is, my time, 9.30 almost. For Marcel it's 8.30 a.m. in the morning. So you have a 30 day money back guarantee. So basically halfway through the course, through the program, you can say like, sorry, but I don't like it. I don't like you and you will get your money back. Now, why I'm doing this, because I'm, I'm very confident that you won't, you know, like people are love the program, start teaching, even start making money, you know, before the program is ended. Um, but also that when you invest, you can really trust this process and that it works, very simply said. Then uh, this is your gift, uh, timvanafleet.com slash gift. And then is Marcel there? Almost there. Well then, you know, until Marcel is here, 
maybe you can share uh, your questions. Here, there's a question of Kyrie. Will, will your breathing techniques help heal lung deficits and illness? Um, I don't have, um, this is like, do I believe so? Yes, 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 yes. I even my mother had like lung problems and I was in the hospital all the time with her. And I spoke to the lung doctor and I said like, let's do a research. I'm a breathwork instructor. And he looked at me and he was like, you're a weirdo. You know, well, a lung doctor wasn't interested in breathwork. I'm like, ah, anyway, <laughs> life is frustrating sometimes. So listen, I, I truly believe that. And, um, uh, but do I have like a double clinical trial ready with TT5, TT10 has helped? No, I don't. So um, I hope that answered your question. Uh, if I can teach someone who has been smoking, yes, absolutely. That is one of my sayings. You know, if, if a client of mine is smoking, I'm like, you don't have to quit smoking. But from now on, if you're a smoker, you should do breath work every day. I, am I... Do you agree? You're smoking like half an hour per day. You take five minutes every morning. I get strict then. Uh, Bonita is saying, I was late to join. Is this link into try your techniques? YouTube video. So the Tim van der Fleet slash gift. Yeah, that is, that is the link uh, for the YouTube videos. And these uh, Tim van der Fleet go uh, is... Um, the program and i put like a summary here so you can uh, watch that you're welcome kari um so wait so that is bonita you know it. oh okay you know it. i answered bonita was late to join uh oh marcel's here marcel let's get let's give the stage to marcel brother altijd goed je te zien then i will go back into the yeah go ahead can you see me we can see you we can hear you oh yeah not the other way around uh all right yeah hello <laughs> beautiful morning for you right yeah yeah beautiful morning only yeah uh, it was again with the time uh, it would be eight o'clock but here seven thirty so uh oh, really? in the last minute i had to sleep yeah I don't know, or something sorry going on. it doesn't matter uh <laughs> No problem. Uh, yeah, did you introduce me? Shall no, I, introduce I, uh, I am before, but I'm, I want to introduce you again. So Marcel uh, is the younger, six years younger than Wim, and you've been walking with Wim. Maybe you can say a little bit about that and about, I don't know, I just, when you talk about breath work, I just melt, you know, I'm like, yes, yes, listen to Marcel. So um, you have been working with Wim together for what, 25 years, am I right? Uh, yeah, uh, I trained with Wim before even the Wim half method, 25 years, uh, uh, and a lot of trying out ourselves, just trying out what works. So, uh, the breath work became later the Wim half method. Uh, I'm using it in my way also. And I worked a few years with the army, PTSD, trauma, all that stuff and making it finally very practical to get you back uh, through your stories, back into your core feeling where you feel uh, yeah, yourself and nature itself, which is uh, the most powerful thing. So um, yeah, breath work yeah, I like... is just getting back to your core feeling. Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. No, I, wa I wanted to say- Breath work you know, for like... me is just gonna- Here, go ahead. Yeah? Your breath work for me is getting back to your inner core feeling where you feel life with all your senses and uh, life makes literally sense. So getting out of your story, out of your conditioning, out of your programming. Um, and that's for me, breath work, uh, back to uh, inner nature and outer nature coming together in yourself, in your core feeling. And uh, nowadays with a lot of science backed up. Yeah. So... <laughs> It's really and, cool what's uh, happening. Yeah. yeah, go on, so go after, on. Yeah, after 25 years training, uh, we just saw more and more what it did with our own body. So finally, with a lot of science and coming into the into the two biggest uh, medical journeys, PNAS and Nature, it became now a world spread and uh, everybody can kind of uh, 
um, how do you say it? Profit from this method, because for me it's the basic of uh, health. The breath work together with, with with the cold, but especially the breath work because it gets you easily out of this uh, thinking state from uh, bad uh, back to that, uh, delta. We are relaxed and uh, can play with your thoughts, let the conditioning and create new. Uh, in whatever you want and creating what you want so that is for me breath work yeah and um i um, um we did a session or you guided a session oh um, yeah um the way you do that i really see you as a as a shaman and a shaman is just somebody who translates you know like higher philosophy into uh easy bites so we can consume it you know like very simply said but you're using your drums also and I yeah. was that night, I had vivid dreams and it was, it was amazing, you know? So yeah, I'm into your work, man. Um, yeah. yeah, yeah. The combination of, uh, for me, it's always this energy. So it's not only breath work, it's my experience because yeah. And also uh, your experience, we as instructors and after years of experience, you bring also your own state. And there's a vibration. Everything is a vibration. I use my drum. I use the my voice but it's all all these ceremonies is getting people in the right state because that is what trance is trance is just a state of mind bringing people in the stata delta where you are relaxed and can easily let go of what is whatever is going on in your uh, in your life so that is the beauty of breath work that is the beauty of vibration is the beauty of energy everything finally is energy and bring the right synergy the right different uh, uh, um uh, modalities together so breath work sound uh, voice then it's easier to get people in that state and it's just yeah it's, it's science it's literally science we are all energy so if we come in a different vibe in that vibe it's easier to let go of these old conditioning old programming and it works anyway so there is a certain turning point if you go deep enough and long enough the, the mind ca cannot hold on to these old stories because you feel more you become more uh, in that feeling consciousness. And that is in this deep data and delta, which is easy to bring people there with the breath work. So it's not just breath work, not just a spiritual thing. It's a science. But to get people there takes a little, sometimes a little longer. There's no average. <clears throat> and the experienced uh, trainer like Tim and me, can you bring there easily? So um, I think this, this is the new science. And uh, as long as science is still... Uh, not as fast as we are doing it because we did it already for 30 years, 40 years, and we know it from experience. It takes sometimes a little longer, becomes it like institutionalized. So before you can wait on it, but you can also do it now and see how it works. It takes uh, what is most important as an experienced teacher is to get people also safely uh, uh, to that part. So the safety uh, it's very important that people feel safe to let go because it feels a little insecure to let go of your old programming, old conditioning. So I think that is another part, get people safe, uh, let people feel that they are safe and whatever is going on in their story. Sometimes it's emotional, sometimes it's ecstatic. It doesn't matter to get people to whatever story back to their inner core. That is for me, uh, the whole, whole uh, center of breath work in an easy, beautiful, powerful way. I love it. I'm like, you know, you didn't see the whole webinar, but it completely clicks with what I'm saying, you know, so that's, that's really, really cool. And, uh, what I, what I just wanted to mention, because we were talking about it a few weeks ago, is that also when something like you're talking about old belief, belief system and to get that out and yeah. it works like that, but also when something, you know, like unexpected and bad happens in your life, breath work is the tool to learn to cope with whatever your loss was you know and that is i think that is worth mentioning yeah yeah but, but what another thing is because you are in this deep state uh what what can happen in this deep state you can change your perspective on things that makes also that your reality changes so i think that's a very important thing uh, with our perspectives we it's a way how we see life and if you are stuck 
uh, in a certain story, you can only see through one or two perspectives. But if you're in this deeper, relaxed state, so that is why it is important. This is a physical thing. You don't stay in your thinking mind. You, you come in your feeling consciousness, which is where the brain waves slow down. You can change your perspective. If you change your perspective on the same thing, your whole reality changes. Your feeling about whatever happens, uh, painful um, experience changes. So you can deal with it easier. And it doesn't matter, it uh, doesn't mean it, it disappears uh, totally, but you deal with it in a different way. You can embrace also that part of life. And I think for me, finally, the breathwork is also embracing every part instead of suppressing it because the suppression, put it, pushing away is mostly which gives us this stress, this pain, also mentally. So if you can change the, that perspective and you can do it with the breathwork, if you do it more enough or deep enough, you can always change whatever is going on. And this has an enormous beauty. Then you come, you are in charge again. You are the one who chooses how you react to whatever is going on in your life. That gives it enormous freedom. Wow, I love it. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Anything you're else welcome. you would like to say? So you're oh, in New fast. Zealand, right? Are you in New Zealand? Yeah, it's early morning there. Yeah, I, there was a little thing. I, I was here sleeping in the cabin. I'm now I'm coming from the car last minute. Kind of couldn't change anymore. So my <laughs> key couldn't give back. I slept in the car. So it was a little late. Sorry. No, but no. In New Zealand, New Zealand, raglan, beautiful weather. Uh, yeah, going from one workshop and retreat to another. Uh, two days, I've got another one with uh, 60 or 80 people. Yeah, and, and every time I see these ex people coming to me that they can change sometimes in one session, mostly in one session, 20, 25% having life-changing experience. So it's just trust. Trust, do it, try it out. You will see and you will feel it works. I've got an absolute certainty in that part. It's not about me. It's about just giving this. It's like a gift. Like you give mm -hmm. somebody, the only thing which will withholds people is their own insecurity not being sure about it but finally when you do yeah. it and you go totally in it works yeah and if you know more about breath work you know you get also more confident and more secure about the whole thing yeah and then, uh, and, then yeah. and then there's the kick of of letting uh, uh of uh, helping other people with it oh there's somebody you know a wants to ask you a question of course you can you know a sure 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 i love yeah. that marcel mentioned vibration i know vibration also heals but do not have the science to back it up marcel do you give a course on that you give a course on vibration yeah <clears throat> for me uh i i'm yeah i'm, I'm also busy with a, a trainers a teacher's training uh here in new zealand did my first thing will become more everywhere yeah, for everything is vibration, everything is energy. So uh, even Einstein, the, the, one of the biggest scientists ever, said it is MC uh, uh, quadrant. I don't know how to say it, square. <laughs> everything is energy. So vibration is energy, breathing is energy, everything is energy. Yeah. We learn now with the universal laws uh, how to play with energy. That's it. And so the mind, uh, what, what is also science is that your mind, how the way you look at things, has an influence on what you are uh, investigating. So everything is vibration, vibration, everything. brain waves is vibration. If you change your brain wave, you change your brain's state. So in this deeper state, and there's a lot of science uh, beyond it, um, things change. There are now, nowadays, even that with, uh, with meditation and the way we look at it, they did a certain, uh, what was it? Um, um, Research? experiments 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 only yeah. with uh yeah experience that's maybe you know about uh this japanese guy as worldwide has gone yes. worldwide they did emoto. meditating with water yeah emoto, yeah, emoto is with, yeah emoto and they're, they're meditating with water for three months months with on a very uh, uh what was it very polluted water after after a few sessions already, they saw the structure of the water changing only because of the mind state of the of the meditators. The mind state because they the, they were meditating and the water changed. The water structure changed because mind is also matter. It's just more a subtle uh, energy state, a subtle vibration which changes water because it's logic, like the wind. 
if the wind blows over the water and it's heavy, the change, uh, the water changes. It's very simple. That's vibration. So everything is vibration. Is there uh, signs about? Yeah, there is a lot of signs about it. But a specific, specific things about breathing. Yeah, I don't know. I know there is a lot of breathing signs. There is a lot we of will find information. It. Wim, yeah. Wim just did with 540 people in the in the Australia uh, research and experiment. I saw lightening up the whole brain. Instead of 20% using 20%, the whole brain is lighting up. So new pathways uh, are, are being made. So there is, mm -hmm. science comes 10, 15, 20 years later, but there is yes. already evidence in many, many places. Yeah. Yes. And uh, I think your your uh, guest session in this program will be about vibration. Clearly, you know, uh, thank you. We just found the title for Marcel's session. Yeah, all good. Great. <laughs> um, thanks. You ever uh, want to say some last words? I don't want to take too much of your time because I know you're busy. No, I, I've got I've got still a few minutes now, so I'm okay. Okay. Um, is there anything else you would like to say, Marcel? Or is there anybody else who has a question to Marcel? There's one question here. If you can yeah. get over Anytime. sleep apnea. Uh, well while what is, the, we're what is the question mackie is saying uh is sleep apnea can you reduce that through breath work mackie yes you can that's my short answer um, um sleep apnea can be uh, solved sometimes even through learning to continuously breathe through the nose it's already a tip marcel what would you say about sleep apnea what is exactly sleep apnea? Sleep, it's a sleep, sleep problem apnea. where you don't get yeah? No, yeah. where you um uh, where you hold your breath in the middle of the night and then you wake up. <gasps> yeah. Some people even need like a machine, like an oxygen yeah. mask. Do you have that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Mask? Yeah, I, I uh, I played football with a guy who was. It's all about conditioning. Exactly. If I feel into it, it's a condition. So if you learn to change this conditioning in your conscious life. So during day, uh, you will take it on also more unconsciously. That is with every habit. Every habit takes some time to learn. But uh, when it is learned, it goes deeper into your unconscious. So if you become more aware and uh, do your breathing consciously, just like Tim said, uh, during day, breathing through your nose and making a conscious effort, you will see it will influence your breathing also in the night. Uh, and then, yeah. It has already a positive uh, outcome because you, you change your breathing in, in day. If you take it on during night, that will take time. It can change and it will change and it will have influence. How much? I don't know. This is for everybody different. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So any more questions? Let me quickly just share the links again. Uh, wait, Q and A. Oh, here's a Q and A. Katja is asking. Thank you. I would like to start a course. Do I have to contact you, or can I straightly pay from the link? Um, you can straightly pay from the link. So um, I wanted to post this anyway. Or if you want, you can contact me. I'm not sure where you're living, but if you're from the Netherlands, then um, you know maybe we can just do a, a ideal or a tiki. <laughs> <laughs> um, I wanted to see the normal chat. Um, Mackie is saying thanks. Lina is saying, does it fix breathing through nose? Well, y yes. Um, there are techniques to fix your blocked nose so you're able to breathe through the nose. And that is, it's a small thing, but going from mouth to nose breathing or from chest to belly breathing makes a whole difference you know and 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 from there you go into stuff like we just did let's breathe so this is week two when it comes to the program but definitely um you can un unless your nose is no there, it's not not a hundred percent promise because if your nose is broken and, and there's just no air passing through of course not but in principle yes i hope that answered your question lena uh, do you guys have Instagram? <laughs> uh, I do. What is your Instagram, Marcel? 
I think a Masserhoff method, that's something. I don't know exactly. But you can also, uh, um, how do you say just, it? Contact just, find, on, uh, just Google Masserhoff yeah. or Tim van der Fleet and you can get there. Yeah, you will find um, it. And just send a message, then I can send it you. I don't know from yeah. my... Because I don't use so much Instagram, more uh, still Facebook and other stuff. Yeah. No, me, me neither. You know, like, I, I go there once a day but i don't really like it and then there's another question does it help against adenoid and adenoid are lymph tissues that sit in your upper airway between your nose and back of your throat i don't know i would love to test that but i'm, yeah. I'm very very confident that it does but i cannot say like i, I don't want to bullshit you um I yeah. don't know. Ma uh, may i say, say something yeah please please go ahead it, it you can go in every different simple uh, things. There are thousands and thousands of people with uh, with testimonials. What helps their overall? Uh, how do you say it? Health. And I think that is the most important. It's not a cure to everything, but it uh, changes your overall health. You get more oxygen in your body. You become more oxygenated. You got more energy. You got more, especially less stress. So it goes from this ease to ease. Your body is, comes in a state of more ease. That means it will better react against whatever bacteria, viruses, uh, and, and whatever state, consciously or unconsciously, which are suppressing. And there you get this natural feeling with inner and outer nature. You feel more and you relax more. And I think that's the basic state of health. Uh, so can it will have influence it will help absolutely and with mm. everything it's very simple it's just basic energy nature if you change your perspective at the same time because you change your state of mind it will also yeah. influence and i think that is one of the most important things we forget it's not only your physical state your mental state becomes more relaxed mm. your body is easier adapting to whatever state so it will not mean it solves every problem. No broken legs <laughs> will, will, will change miraculously, but your overall health state will become better. Yeah, thank you. So we have another question from Julia. Can your techniques help with OBE? OBE, you mean an out-of-body experience? Yes, oh, yeah. it happens sometimes. Absolutely. Many, many, Absolutely. many, many, many times. <laughs> and then Tamara saying, have you studied anyone after they had COVID and how this can help people? And there, so so this, is, this is the way I think. There's my belief system. You know, I believe that it can help. That, that doesn't make it true. And then there's scientific evidence, double clinical trials, and there's testimonial evidence. So from a testimonial evidence point of view, many people have helped, uh, are helped with long COVID or uh, during COVID also being less sick than your partner. Um, but I don't have a double clinical trial ready, so no real science yet. But, um, and if you ask me, uh, do I believe it? Of course, because you know there's many testimonial evidence of people that have shared like, hey, it's funny, I have COVID, but my, my husband is all sick, but I'm not sick at all. You know, I just have it. And and so that is preventive. But also the people with long COVID, that is, you know, as a breathwork nerd, I'm saying, do breathing exercises when you have long COVID, you know, and build it up and, and, and make it a habit because you will heal faster. You move air, you move energy, you move the blood, you will heal faster. Uh, yes. Okay, I think that is the uh, last question. We are a little bit over time, 20 minutes, but you know, it's great to have Marcel Hoff online. Um, so uh, everybody, um, let me paste one more time the links so you can click on it because I'm going to close this meeting. And so if you want, if you're anywhere interested, then click on it already. Uh, my phone number is there. If you need my help, it's a bit late here, maybe tomorrow. For the next 24 hours uh, is the, the, the book fast uh, bonus of the Briefing for Success portal. And uh, uh, I could actually show you a little bit if you want. Are there still people interested in seeing that? Oh wait, uh, Cyprus. Okay, thank you. Mackie, nose breathing and tape them out. Yes, that's exactly before sleeping. Exactly, try that out. And there's more to it. 
I could, I don't, I'm not sure if people are really still interested. I think it's a bit late, but I could like share what it looks like. Well, let's give it one minute. Here, this is the Breathing for Success portal. So all these pictures in the world, and this, for example, that's my daughter, by the way, but if we go to fixes, this is really specified for people that are busy. Sleep problems, how to fix it, anxiety and stress, lack of energy, communication skills, emotional balance and anger issues, stuff like that. You know, and then if you go to, well, sleep is a little bit of a bigger subject. Normally there's like two, three videos are very concise. I know you're busy and here is like a little bit more, but these videos are two minutes, two minutes, one minute, three minutes, two minutes. So it's all very short, you know, and then while we're at it, this is the um uh, control your breath eight week program so if we go to same story everything is a chapter you go to week four then here everything is a chapter so if we go to science and physiology week four you will find one two three four five six videos uh, eight videos that's a long one but it's four minutes it's three minutes it's five minutes you know, so it's not, it's not that much. I mean, learning is all, all you know, it's stacked. So you don't have to um, uh, put like, oh, I will be very busy because you will learn, you will learn and you will get interested. And it's just a little, oh, one video more. I'm, you know, I'm in the train, uh, one more video. You will learn so fast. So uh, last question, please let me know. And otherwise, wish you a great day. Marcel, thank you well. Thank you, Devas. Klaar, ready? Klaar, yeah. ready. Have a great day. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> have a great day for you, for us. Have a yeah, great night. Yeah, I will, I will. <laughs> All right, see, see you. you later, bye. Cheers, bye -bye. thank you, Marcel. Later, bye-bye.